Hey, what's up guys? Frank here with another video and today I wanted to make a video about uh, Microsoft Designer, okay? And so yesterday they made an announcement that uh, Daily Tree is now part of Microsoft Designer and because of that I wanted to talk about Designer because I think this is a tool that has very great potential for print-on-demand sellers and in actuality, I've been looking at it and I've been uh, following their progress and I think it has a lot of potential. And, and so basically Microsoft Designer is a tool, it's a web app where you can create designs, okay? And so basically it's very similar to Canva, but as of right now, it's quite a very new tool. Uh, they, I think they started, they started to create uh, Microsoft Designer in December of 2022. And I think it was released something like around April 2023. So it's still very recent and it, it still has a lot of it still has a lot of work to do, but I'm very excited about it. And the fact that they added Delhi T three to Microsoft Designer, I think it, it makes the tool even. I think it's a great progress that they added that. Okay, and so let's go right in. Okay, and so basically this is Microsoft Designer. Okay, and so as you can see, like they Microsoft Designer is pretty cool because they rely pretty much entirely on AI, okay? And so uh, they added the new daily tree because as of right now, I think this this prompt here uh, uses daily uh, 2.5, but if you want to use daily three, you're gonna go in here to generate an image. And so first of all, let's compare uh, daily tree with ChatGPT and also Bing Generator, okay? And so in my case, what I'm gonna do here is gonna basically uh, create a vector file for Christmas because Christmas is cr currently coming. So I'm just gonna launch a bunch of things. And okay, so I just launched uh, Bing Image Creator, ChatGPT daily tree, and also uh, Microsoft Designer. So as you can see right now, we have a bunch of results here. So, so basically my prompt is a simple vector art for on a spotless white backdrop without a gradient uh, about Christmas saying Santa's watching so be nice. And so basically this is a prompt that I'm, uh, this is a template prompt that I'm using and I basically change the topic and I change the sentence and it's a, uh, it's a phrase that I use commonly for my designs that I create on ChatGPT, okay? Uh, and so let's compare the design. So here we have uh, these designs here that are pretty much like black on the white background. And here we have ChatGPT that use much more colors, which is pretty cool. And here we have uh again it's black on the white background so so i think those are pretty good results and i can see i can see myself using these designs for my print on demand business but you know i just wanted to compare the different services and if i could potentially use it uh for my print on demand business because as of right now since designer is so new it is basically free to use okay it is basically free to use and you don't need a chat GPT uh, subscription because to use daily train chat daily train chat GPT you need to have a uh, chat GTD chat GPT plus but designer you don't need to have the subscription okay and the, the bad thing about Microsoft being image generator is that yes it uses daily tree but the problem with uh, Bing is that you cannot use these images for commercial use, okay? Because when you go in the, commer in the commercial use for Bing, it says in the use of creation that you cannot use them for non commercial like it's for non-commercial use, so you cannot make money out of these. So that's kind of the bad thing about Microsoft Bing. You can use uh, ChatGPT Daily Tree for commercial use, which is what I've been doing for the last 
uh, weeks and maybe months. But now that Daily Tree is now part of Designer and Designer, I have the terms of service here and they basically says that you can use the image for any legal purposes. And so basically you can use Microsoft Designer and all the image that you create from Designer for your commercial use. So that's a really cool thing. And so basically right now I could start using Microsoft Designer to generate some, Im some image using Daily Tree instead of ChatGPT and instead of Ideogram as well. I have Ideogram right here. Okay, so that's really, really cool. That's a good plus for Microsoft Designer. Even though you don't create design with Microsoft Designer, you can start creating image with this, okay? So that's really cool. And so, yes, Daily Tree is now part of Microsoft Designer, but I also wanna talk about the pros and cons that I see so far as of today with Microsoft Designer, okay? And the first thing that I think is really cool is, the, is as I said before, right now, I, it, it is free to use, but I expect it uh, in the future to be part of Microsoft 365, okay? And so basic, basically Microsoft 365, if you don't know, it's a subscription that, that uh, combines all the Microsoft products, okay? And I've been using uh, Microsoft 365 for a while now. And so basically Microsoft 365 is a combination in all the Microsoft apps, okay? So basically you have Designer, you have OneNote, you have uh, ClipChamp, which used to you can use ClipChamp to create videos. As of right now, I'm using ClipChamp to make this video. And OneNote, it's basically an alternative to, it's an alternative to Evernote. And you also have Outlook, you have an antivirus, and you also have one terabyte of cloud storage. And I'm expecting Designer to be part of this 365 subscription, okay? And so, And so I'm really excited about this because, because I've been using Microsoft 365 for my business and personally as well. And so I think this is a really good tool, okay? And it's and the whole package is actually cheaper than Canva, okay? Uh, Microsoft 365 is only $8 per month. You see Canva here, is $19 per month. And so this is in Canadian, of course, but you get the idea, okay? And so my goal is that at some point when uh, designer gets better and, and all the functionality that I want are part of the, the tool, I'm probably gonna stop using Canva and stop paying for Canva and I'm gonna simply use Designer with my Microsoft 365 subscription, okay? I think, so I think this is a really cool tool. And another cool thing about it is that um, you can basically remove the background from your images. So let's say for example, that I take uh, an image, let's create an image using AI. Right now, I'm gonna create an image using AI. So let's take, for example, this, let's take, a, let's take this one. So I can basically remove the background uh, with, with this tool, okay? And you can also, oh, okay, this is actually a video, whatever. Okay, maybe I don't want that. Stay with me here. I just want an image right now. Oops, I click. So you basically can remove the background and also another cool thing is that PNG files, you can make the image background transparent, okay? And the image background transparent might seem a little bit stupid and a little bit, a little bit like simplistic, but in actuality, in Canva, this is a pro feature, okay? And so to have a transparent background in Canva, you have to have the 
um, pro version, okay? You have to have the subscription, but here you can make transparent background for free using this tool, okay? So I think this is a really cool thing. And another cool thing about Microsoft Designer is it, it, it that, and it's that it relies very evenly on AI, okay? And so as you can see here, this is the home page of Microsoft Designer. And basically what you do is that you tell Microsoft Designer exactly what you want and the AI is going to generate the thing that you want, okay? And so basically you can write anything here, you put your prompt, and then on the right, it basically generates a bunch of image that you, that you can use and that you can modify, okay? And so that's a very modern tool. But Microsoft Designer is a really great tool and I see a lot of potential in it, but there are a few things that I don't like and for these reason, I'm not making the switch from Canva to Designer right now, okay? And, and first of all, the first thing that is not really cool about uh, Designer is that it does not support the t-shirt size, okay? And so basically, what, when you want to do a custom size, they limit the size of the image to 5,000. And so by default, a standard t-shirt design is about 4500 by 5400 pixels and so that's kind of a bad thing and I hope that they, they remove this limitation at some point because that's that's I think this is not cool okay and so that's the first thing and another thing about uh, Microsoft designer that they hope that they improve and they add some new feature is that as of right now you cannot really share on social media okay and so here yes you can maybe share on uh, LinkedIn maybe on Instagram and maybe on Facebook but you're not able to share directly from designer to your social media or whatever because one of the great features that i use in canva is that yes i create my design but then i use the design and then i post it directly on maybe pinterest i mostly use it for pinterest but you can share your Im images straight from canva okay and so i hope that at some point in designer i'll be able to share on social media directly from Microsoft designer right? and so I hope that's a feature that they had okay and so another thing that I hope that they improve but now that I think about it like maybe they made it that way but you see when you look at uh, the templates they are not really templates okay when you use Microsoft designer as of right now there's no really any template okay and so for example if you want to create a Pinterest post the dimensions might be different than a YouTube thumbnail and the YouTube thumbnail might be different than a, an Instagram post okay but basically the the size that are at the label right now are only these sizes okay and so it's it's not a it's not a huge thing but the thing is that I think that they actually want you to use AI, okay? And so, for example, if you want to create a YouTube thumbnail, for example, well, instead of using the template or the size that are, that are already saved or whatever, I think they actually want you to use AI. And with the AI, they're going to generate a YouTube template, okay? And so, for example, uh, a YouTube template. Uh, I'm just gonna write anything right now with a dog saying hi. Okay, this is just whatever. I'm just doing things out of my mind right now. Okay. And so as you can see, as of like Microsoft Designer,
does not have templates and configured sizes, but the fact that you can use AI to generate design right away allows you to maybe it doesn't matter, you know? So for example, like this one seems to have the great, the right size, but you know, that that's the thing. Like there's no template and maybe you can use AI to customize a little bit. This one seems to be the right size, but it's, it's the amount of templates that uh, I hope that they are able to fix. So for example, if I want to create a YouTube template, I would be able to create a YouTube template, a YouTube image. <laughs> okay. And so that's pretty much it, my video for Microsoft Designer. And I'm really excited about uh, Delhi Tree part of being part of Microsoft Designer because I see a lot of potential with Microsoft Designer. And as I said, like, and so if they improve their feature and if I'm able to create t-shirt designs with this tool and if I'm able to share on social media straight from the tool, I would probably make the switch from Canva to Microsoft Designer, okay? But even right now, you, you could start generating images, AI images using Daily Tree because now it's available. And so I think it's really cool. And so I hope that this video was helpful to you and let me know if you have any question, okay? Peace.